low humidity and just a slight breeze out of the northeast as we are underway. Squib kick tipped around loose and who comes up with it? Sort of a deep on sides. Marvin Brown, reserve fullback for Alabama, comes up with the ball. Corey Peterson back deep for the Rebels. And Pope hits a beauty. Tight spiral. Peterson with the fair catch at the 21. Swings it out to Peterson, who makes the catch. Falls forward to very nearly the 35-yard line, brought down by Steve Stanley, and that will be good for the first down. And Miller works from the shotgun. McAllister goes wide to the left side. Miller steps out of trouble, tucks it and runs, but he's wrapped up and dropped. The swift quarterback, Romero Miller, out of Shannon, Mississippi, almost signed with Alabama coming out of high school before electing to go to Ole Miss. Reagan King in to punt for Ole Miss. Arvin Richard, the deep man for the Tide. Calls for the fair catches. King hangs that one up high. 46-yard effort his first time, and Pope hangs this one up high again. Peterson calling for the fair catch. And a flag comes in. They'll say he was within the two-yard buffer zone. 37-yard punt by Daniel Pope. Reagan King back in for Ole Miss to punt it away. 42-yard punt on his first try. Low line drive that Richard will field at the 21, and there's a flag in the Rebel backfield. And so Bama gets it back starting at its own 21-yard line. Hand off Alexander on the draw. Alexander across the 30. Spins forward to the 34 before he's finally brought down. As Zao works under center on second and seven. Alexander, the carrier, breaks it outside across midfield. On second down, some confusion, but Alexander breaks it outside. Takes it near the 25. Al Rice makes the stop for Ole Miss. The option, pitch back to Alexander, who cuts it up as the first down and more. As he barrels forward to the Ole Miss 16. 28-yard field goal. On the way, and right down the middle. Officially a 27-yard field goal for Ryan Flugner, who continues his good work. On first down at their own 24-yard line, Romero Miller swings it out to Joe Gunn. Brought down on the Rebel sideline at the 32, and a late flag comes in. Was a personal foul, face mask, defense. The penalty will be 15 yards from the end of the run, resulting in a first down. McAllister and Gunn in the backfield, and McAllister with the carry this time. Breaks it outside. Pick up of about 14 yards before Tony Dixon forces him out of bounds. Ben Craddock in to punt it away. You would assume the pooch punter for the Rebels. Richard makes the fair catch at his own nine. On third and seven, Bama goes from the shotgun. The Rebels come with the safety blitz. Zhao in trouble, and he's dropped back at the five. Morris Scott gets in to sack Andrew Zhao on the last play of the first quarter. I've got Blue Cross. That's me. Running Long from his own ago. end zone. Low wobbly kick. Peterson backs off, lets it roll. And Bama will down it at the 49-yard line. And Gunn gets the call on the misdirection. Slips down the sideline inside the 40 to near the 37-yard line before Travis Smith can bring him down. Closing in on the Ole Miss freshman rushing record of 402 yards held by Deuce McAllister. Gunn again on the carry. 
Takes it down near the 30 before Kelvin Sigler drops him. They'll keep it on the ground. Give it to McAllister who breaks it outside. Ridden out of bounds at the 10. It's now third and goal from the 18. Miller to throw in the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Grant Hurd bobbled it initially, but recovered to haul it in for the touchdown. They need 14 yards to keep the drive going. Zhao under pressure. Throws that one away. And a flag comes in from referee Doyle Jackson, and that will be intentional grounding. And his last two have not been his best efforts. Low wobbly kick. Peterson will let it roll. Chad McGee lets it roll as well. Finally comes dead at the Ole Miss 47. Gunn and McAllister, the running backs, and Deuce gets the carry. Into Bama territory, still on his feet. The tide brings him down at the 35. Came in averaging about 165 yards a game on the ground, but they have been impressive to this point. McAllister, the call again. Breaks it outside. On the rollout, Miller. Dumps it off, complete. That'll be good for the first down and a lot more. Rufus French, the big tight end. A 32-yard field goal. Juno, four out of six on the year, and it's blocked. Keeps the Rebels from adding to the lead. Zhao on first down, all day to throw. Completes it to Michael Vaughn to the 33-yard line, and that's good for a Bama first down. Zal stays in the shotgun. Time again, deep down the boundary. Calvin Hall got it in stride. Inside the 10 before he's finally brought down by Anthony McGee. First and goal for the Crimson Tide. Five wide receivers for Andrew Zal. He'll tuck it and run. Zhao leans forward. Touchdown. Arvin Richard, the deep man for the Tide. And the Rebels fake it. Intended. A call play, rather, but a flag comes down in the Bama secondary. Gun breaks in motion. Miller. Tucks it and runs across the 50. Steps out at the Tide 42. Travis Carroll chased him out of bounds. Second and 13 after the loss. Quick release. Nice grab by Grant Hurd. Brought down by Kelf Bailey. Rebels still with three timeouts remaining. Miller. Swings it out to Hurd again, who steps out of bounds. Fernando Bryant pushes him out. Miller steps back and will work from the shotgun on second and one. McAllister breaks in motion. Miller looks to throw. Completes it to Peterson, who's finally drug out of bounds by Kelf Bailey. At the Bama 12. Miller over the middle. Complete to Rufus French. The big tight end. Canary Knight brings him down, but that's good for the first down. Romero Miller, the quarterback, works from the shotgun. Deuce McAllister, the running back, to his right. They swing it out to McAllister toward the end zone, and he's forced out of bounds just shy of the goal line. A nice play. McAllister. And Gunn in the backfield. Miller will throw. With time, in trouble, he rolls out to the near side. Dumps it in the end zone, incomplete. The Tide takes over at its own two-yard line. Andrew Zal on the keeper. Leans over the back of Jason McDonald, and that will do it for the first half.
Bama jumped out to the 3-0 lead. Ole Miss answered with a touchdown to go on top 7-3, but Alabama and Andrew Zow muster to drive in the second quarter, and the Tide takes a 10-7 lead to the locker room. But they did not have the look we did. Delay to McAllister. Slips by a couple of tackle, tacklers and weaves his way down to the Bama 36. Miller working from the shotgun. Swings it out, complete. Jamie Armstrong. Breaks one tackle, finally brought down by Kelvin Sigler. French, the big tight end, goes in motion. They'll give it to Gunn, sprinting for the corner, and he's in for the touchdown. As Zhao drops into the shotgun, here comes the blitz. Picked up by the tide, Zhao all day, now goes deep over the middle. Oh! Again, the triple stack formation to the near side, and Zhao will throw to Jackson who has it at the 30, stays on his feet, fights forward, and will have the first down. On the rollout, over the middle, caught by Eric Locke. Near the 15-yard line, Brown and McClintock, both in the game, along with Sean Alexander. They give it to Big Red, who goes straight ahead. Ball came loose, the Rebels say they've got it. And they do. Dustin McClintock coughs it up. Romero Miller works from the shotgun on first down. Completes it to Corey Peterson. At its own 28, second and nine. The draw to McAllister. Spins off one man, falls forward to the 40. From the Rebel 44. Miller working from the shotgun to the boundary, caught out of bounds. Grant Hurd wide open on the Bama sideline. Fourth punt of the day for Ole Miss. Arvin Richard back deep. Craddock hangs it up. Richard makes the catch. Across the 20, still on his feet. Works his way up near the 24 yard line. So we'll keep an eye on the sideline to see if he returns this afternoon. Zhao trying to get out of trouble. Dumps it off complete to Michael Vaughn. The scrambling part of it is a big factor, and Vaughn made it pay off that time. Alexander pops outside. Wrapped up by Snicker Taylor, and we'll see where they mark his forward progress. Zhao from the shotgun. Pump fake, plenty of time, deep down the middle. Jackson's got it in stride at the 40 and brought down by Seneker Taylor at the Ole Miss 36. The reverse coming to Eric Locke with blockers. Locke across the 30. Inside the 25 to the 24. Timothy Strickland makes the tackle. Play action, Zao over the middle and intercepted. Anthony McGee picks it off, returns it to the 30-yard line. Miller from the shotgun, completes it out near the 40-yard line. That'll be just shy of the first down yardage. Jamie Armstrong hauls it in. From the shotgun on third and two, Romero Miller swings it out to Gunn, who will have the first down. As he crosses the 40, Fernando Bryant there to force him out. But... Miller, pump fake down the sideline and caught by Corey Peterson. We have not called his name much until this point. Miller, rolling out of trouble, able to keep his feet. Steps out of bounds at the 20. Play action. Miller 
contact in the backfield and a flag comes down. Fernando Bryant working against Rufus French. A 19 yard field goal. And he missed it. So the Bama defense bends but doesn't break. Bama takes over at its own 20. Alexander gets the call. Right up the gut, Sean Alexander to the 32-yard line, a pickup of 12 and a first down. There you see Alexander's numbers for the day. Zal, the quick throw out to Michael Vaughn. Works his way up to the 40-yard line. He is trying to help lead this Alabama team to a victory in the SEC today. Second and one, Alexander, the ball carrier, comes back, picks up the first down. Peterson, the deep man for Ole Miss, standing at his 10. Hope hangs it up, out of bounds, and they'll mark it out at the 26. Pick up a four for McAllister on first down, so it's second and six for the Rebels. McAllister again, able to get outside. Tony Dixon forces him out. Second and five, and the reverse. Snuffed out by the tie. Clint Wagner stayed home and decked Sheldon Morris for a big loss. Bama at its own 39. The reverse to Freddie Millens. Cuts it back across midfield. Millens takes it into Rebel territory. And Bama's got a first down at the Rebel 46. Zao on the rollout. Completes it to Eric Rock. The reverse again, the fake. <laughs> Zao keeps it, throws back. Time tucks it and runs across the 20 out near the 30 yard line from the shotgun. Romero Miller sets up to the boundary, complete. Grant Hurd with the catch. Ole Miss just three out of 12, or four out of 13. McAllister first down and more. Out of bounds at the Bama 35. Reggie Miles finally forces him out, but a huge gain on third and short. Up and good. So Juno one for three on the day, ties the game at 17. Bama needs the 49 to keep the drive going. On the blitz, they swing it out to Sean Alexander. Cuts it up, has the first down and more. To the 30, still on his feet. Alexander still going inside the 20. Ledbetter will snap it. Daniel Pope will hold it. And Ryan Flugner to win it for the Crimson Tide. The game clock shows triple zeros. We are headed to overtime in Tuscaloosa. Miller works from the shotgun. Over the middle and caught. Sheldon Morris makes the grab just inside the 15 where he's driven back by Tony Dixon. So first down at the Alabama 14. Miller all day to throw, floats one in the end zone, intercepted by Steve Stanley. Stanley picks it off, and that will do it for the Rebels' possession. And now the Tide needs but a field goal to win it. Alexander, the ball carrier, to the 15, to the 10, 
down to the seven yard line before Al Rice brings him down. 22 yards for Ryan Flugner from dead on in the middle. This will win it for the Crimson Tide. Up and good. Ryan Flugner and Daniel Pope somewhere in the bottom of that pile. will be a very happy homecoming in Tuscaloosa. 20 to 17 the final in overtime. Ryan Flugner wins it with a 22-yard field goal.